Hello and welcome to another video by the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be taking a look at the Smart Robot Cat Toy Mouser by Petronix. This cat toy sells itself as the most advanced cat toy ever, featuring state-of-the-art sensing and intelligence, automatic play modes, or direct smartphone control, and being tough enough to handle the fiercest of hunters. I've had my eye on Mouser for a while now as I've been looking into different types of toys to maybe get my cat more interested in activity and running around more. As you can see in some of my other videos featuring her, she isn't always the most active. At a price tag of $150, I waited out for a while until there was finally a decent sale and was able to pick up Mouser along with 8 additional tails for only $130. Mouser comes loaded with sensors that will help it navigate around the house, from varying its speed to knowing its orientation to allow for more easy manual control or even obstacle avoidance. It also has a built-in cat proximity sensor that will help it seek out your furry friend to help engage them in play. It also features Bluetooth 4.2 for phone control and has roughly a 10-foot wireless range. According to Petronix, Mouser could run for 40 minutes of continuous play and only takes 30 minutes to fully charge with the included charging base. I know I'm a bit spoiled with my robot vacuums, but it would have been really cool if Mouser had the ability to go home to its dock on its own and charge itself before heading back out to play. It definitely would be a cool feature to see in a later version of Mouser. Mouser has two independently driven wheels that have some very thick tread on them. This helps Mouser on carpeted surfaces as well as on smooth surfaces like wood or tile. Mouser has two different types of attachable tails, and they are the bounce tail and the flick tail. The bounce tail is on a long springy wire that will stand up in the air. The bounce tail can either have a feather end, a ball end, or a spring end. The other type of tail is the flick tail, which is a string that will follow behind the toy. The flick tail can either have a feather end or a ball end. You can get a set of four of either the bounce tail or the flick tail, but you can also get a combo pack, which will come with four of each. You will save a little bit of money going with a combo pack compared to buying the tail pack separately. Mouser itself comes with two tails a bounce feather tail, and a ball flick tail. To charge Mouser, you will need to first make sure no tail is attached, then place it onto the charging base so that the metal contacts on Mouser are touching the contacts on the base. The lid of the base will close making sure the contacts stay touching. The base can plug into almost any USB charging device using the included USB charging cable. Mouser will make a small noise when charging starts and will blink green while charging. The charging base has five little slots on the side that allow for you to easily store different tail attachments. Setup is really straightforward. Opening the app, it will start searching for Mouser. Once found, you click on it to have the app take control. From the dashboard, you can see the name of the Mouser, its battery life, a sound callout button so you can easily find Mouser, as well as a few other buttons and modes. Clicking on one of the modes for the first time will trigger the driving tutorial. You can either skip it or go through it. The driving tutorial itself will go through how to control Mouser from your phone. It will also go over how to use the reset button on the phone to help reorientate Mouser with the correct direction on your phone. Once done with the tutorial, you can then use Mouser with any of the modes. Mouser has two primary types of play modes, manual and auto. Within manual mode, you have your choice of either simple remote control or precise remote control. In simple remote control, you are able to control the direction your Mouser goes, reverse, sound the whistle, and flick the tail. There is also an orientation reset button if your phone gets out of sync with which way Mouser is pointing. With precise remote control, you have the same capabilities, but you also get the ability to control the speed of Mouser. This allows for you to go real slow and then take off once your cat is on the hunt. As for auto modes, there are three options. Open wander, wall hugger, and stationary. For Open Wander, Mouser will try to explore out in the open and use its tail to engage your cat. Open Wander has a few individual settings you can change based on the tail on the toy, the type of play you want, and even what floor type Mouser will be on. Wall Hugger has Mouser trying to explore near obstacles and walls to entice your cat. This mode does tend to get Mouser stuck into things more often, so make sure you're around to help it out if it's needed. There are also a few additional settings you can change for this play mode. Stationary mode keeps Mouser in place and spin around, having its tail bounce around. This mode only works with the bounce tail. This mode supports a few different settings that can be changed as well. All three play modes support all day play. This allows for Mouser to hibernate in between play sessions and gets re-triggered when a cat engages with Mouser. According to the app, this can extend battery life by four to eight hours. The cat proximity sensor seems to work pretty well. When in auto mode, Mouser usually found the cat and would try to engage the cat. Several times, Mouser attempted to get my cat interested. Sometimes it would work and other times it just wouldn't. Do be cautious of where you set up Mouser. It doesn't have any cliff sensors built in. This means that it would gladly drive right down a staircase without a second thought. And while this is funny to see and could be amusing if your cat chases, this can break Mouser as well as introduce the risk of getting your cat injured or even someone in the home if they happen to be going up or down the stairs when Mouser goes down them. This is a bit unfortunate as there has been multiple times where Mouser has attempted to go over the railing and down the stairs. Mouser has the ability to detect when it's flipped upside down and is even able to use its tail to flip itself back over. 
It's pretty funny to watch, and also a really handy feature. Mouser's wheels are designed well enough to allow it to travel over carpet pretty easily without losing too much of its speed. I did run into an issue with the transitions in my house though. They are a little too high for Mouser. Depending on your situation, this could be either good or bad, but it's something you'll want to keep in mind. Also from time to time, you may have to remove hair or other objects that wrap around Mouser's wheels. Luckily this is a pretty simple process, it only requires a small Phillips head screwdriver, like the ones found in a glasses repair kit. To remove the wheel, all you have to do is remove the screw from the wheel and then gently pull the wheel off. You can then remove any debris that might be wrapped around the wheel itself or around the wheel well. Once all done, just line up the edges of the wheel and wheel well and screw it down. You'll want to make sure to do both wheels. As far as battery life goes, I did a few tests and I'm happy to report that I'm able to get roughly the 40 minutes of advertised running time on Mouser between the different modes. Between all three modes, I got times above or at 40 minutes of runtime depending on what the speed was set to as well as how often pauses were. Charging times on average were a little over 30 minutes, but honestly with 33 minutes being the longest charge time, that's close enough for me. For all chargers, I did use the USB port on my computer so it's possible charging would be quicker with a real charger. For one instance, I did have only 35 minutes of runtime, and that was on the wall hugger mode with the fastest speed setting. This can be expected just because Mouser pretty much is running the entire time. Overall, I like the idea behind Mouser, and honestly it does feel pretty well made. It's lacking in a few areas from a feature standpoint, and the price point is a bit high compared to other options out there that just aren't smart cat toys. I do think if my cat was more active and played more, I wouldn't be as worried about the price. But as I knew going into it, there was a chance it wouldn't really get used. So that is something to keep in mind if you have a less active cat, or if your cat isn't always open to play. I will say that over time, in putting the tails in my catnip infuser, my cat has been more willing to interact with Mouser, and even chases it a little bit. So I think eventually I will probably get my money's worth out of it. That's it for this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps out the channel immensely. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to be one of the first to know when I release a new video. And if you're looking for anything covered in this video, check out the description below for links to all the different devices and products covered. By using the affiliate links in the video description, you will be helping out the channel directly at no cost to yourself. Thank you for watching.